So I have my uh, summer suitcase here that, um, well, kind of my summer and winter wardrobe suitcase. So I store most of my clothes in the suitcase and I kept it just on the shelf because I used to have it at the top of my wardrobe, but it's not as easy to access there. So here I can just kind of dip it in and out as I need. So I'm just gonna pull out a few things. I recently did an IGTV where I shared um, a few pieces that I recently added to my summer wardrobe from this suitcase. Um, but now that it's gotten that bit sunnier again, I'm going to take out a few more pieces. Um, I have like a lovely little vintage dress. Um, it's just really, it's kind of viscose I think, really soft, really lightweight. And it's just like a little mini dress, which I don't actually have a lot of mini length things. I have a lot of midi. Um, what else? I have a few things in here as well that are a bit more like summer holiday appropriate. So as I obviously am not going on summer holiday this year abroad, um, they can just stay in here. I also have another midi, um, actually this is like a kind of almost a maxi summer dress. I'm just going to take it out because it's nice to, to have it as an option. I have my, um, my favourite shorts. I wore these so much last summer. I have a pair of white jeans in here that I actually want to turn into a denim skirt. So I'm going to leave those out too. I have another little mini skirt here. I'm not sure if I want to take this out yet or not. I think I'm going to take it out and try it on to see if I can plan some outfits with it. I have a linen midi skirt. Um, it's kind of a nice dark grey so it might still go with my whole like um, brown and cream wardrobe. And then finally I have this um, people tree shirt dress that I wore a little bit last year. I kind of got it maybe probably towards the end of summer. So and a little tie belt for it. So I'm going to take all those out and I'm going to see what's in my wardrobe at the moment um, that I can put away for a little while just to kind of get it out of my out of my eye line. So this jumper can definitely go away. Um, I picked this up in spring just to add a little bit of colour to my wardrobe but it's way too warm to be wearing it now. Also it's like a high turtleneck so I definitely don't need that. Don't need my grey mohair jumper. Um, I think the mats are probably eating that so I can put that away and keep it safe. What else? Um, okay these jeans, these are my River Island jeans. They're probably like the oldest pair of jeans I have in here now. Um, and they still fit me really well but I don't love the style of them. Um, they're quite tight and they're quite stretchy. They're my only pair of like stretchy jeans left. A lot of the pairs I have are like a straight leg so they're a bit more um, non-stretch or like almost like 100% cotton um, and I recently ordered actually yesterday I ordered a pair of um, blue kind of like a true blue almost kind of like a vintage Levi's kind of vibe um, and I bought them from refashion.co.uk they're like an online charity shop basically I'll leave them linked below if any of you fancy checking them out because I know Especially at the moment, I'm really missing charity shopping because um, obviously you can't go into any physical stores. So if you're looking to um, build up your wardrobe a little bit, but do it still by supporting charities, then online is a great way. And I know Oxfam have an online shop, um, but Refashion could be a good one to check out. There's e-bloggers as well. So I'll leave as many kind of online charity shop resources as I can linked in the description box. So I don't think I need these jeans. So I'm just going to put them to one side until the other ones arrive. I'm just not sure... They may not fit, you never know, but I was just going to put them to one side. I think I can probably put away this grey turtleneck for now. I mean, I do kind of say that I wear it all year round, but I think the uh, summer is like the one season that I can actually get away with putting them aside. Although I feel like I wore that like a couple of weeks ago because I was really cold in my house. Um, but yeah, let's just put that away. What else do we have? This jumper, I don't really wear it, it's more like a lounge jumper, um, but it's definitely too loungy, or too loungy, too chunky to be lounging around in at the moment. I might put away my grey cashmere jumper as well, because I actually haven't worn this much lately. Um, and I have another grey cashmere jumper back here as well. Okay, so some time has passed since I was sorting through my suitcases. My camera died and I thought I would just um, hang up everything that I had pulled out and then I could talk you through it. So 
I've just put back in everything for my summer wardrobe and it kind of has this like accidental um, color palette already so I'm really really loving all the colors in my wardrobe right now um, so I'm just gonna pull out some of the pieces that I added in um, I guess that are just summer pieces that, uh, that weren't in there for spring um, because you well I created a video of my spring 35 piece spring capsule I'll leave it linked up there um, so I'm gonna basically talk through anything that wasn't in that video. So I added in a couple of little um, sleeveless tops. I think they're just really important at this time of the year um, when it's warm. This is a top I've had for about three years now. I picked it up when I spent a summer in Berlin and it's um, it's just the perfect little top and it's kind of this like lacy detail. So it's a nice little dressy number as well. So it can look super cute for more um, dressier occasions I guess if there was any like summer brunches or barbecues or something it would be great just don't get any ketchup or mustard on it <laughs> I'm not sure if you will have seen this this wasn't in my spring capsule wardrobe this um beige suit from the Zara Join Life collection um I've been really loving this at the moment I've worn the blazer a few times now um the trousers not so much because i'm kind of waiting to go back to work so i can wear it a bit more but i really love the blazer as an addition to my kind of everyday casual outfit it kind of dresses up a jeans and a t-shirt outfit um and the trousers then with the full suit will be great when i go back to work these shorts i just lived in these like so much last summer i picked them up at a swap shop um luckily they were my size and I just adore them. They're just like a real like 90s mom short style, um, which I really, really love. I'm kind of a bit over, well, I don't know if I was ever really into it, but like denim hot pants. So these are a nice longer length as well, which is great. And just the color of them, they just go really well in this wardrobe. So just pulled out some of the dresses that I have. So this first one is a stripy um, cotton shirt dress, really long, it's kind of oversized, and then it has a tie belt to just cinch it in which I love, um, really, really like this. Wore it uh, quite a few times over um, last summer. It can also, because it's buttoned down, can also be worn just thrown over like uh, jeans and a t-shirt. Again, like I said, really, really cute and um, really lightweight and so airy. And it's a great piece for a workwear summer wardrobe because it's still quite smart. Like it's obviously a shirt dress with a nice crisp collar, um, pinstripe as well, but it's just so lightweight. So if your office is any way hot, it's just like the perfect thing. The next one is this um, navy midi dress. I think it's navy, a yeah, navy with like a light blue flower. Um, completely full length, I think, actually. I don't know why I keep saying midi dress. I picked this up last summer in a charity shop for less than a tenner, I want to say, maybe like seven quid. And I had to make a few alterations to it, but it just fits like a dream now, and I love it so much. And it will be ideal for a more um, special occasion during the summer, but equally as cute for picnics in the park. This brown dress I wore a lot last spring and summer, so I pulled it back out again. Um, I included this as well in my latest uh, IGTV that I did my new in summer wardrobe. If you're not following on Instagram already, I will leave a link to the IGTV down below. But uh, yeah, really, really love this. This is actually a midi length. It's also really nice and dressy too. Um, and then I just have this little floral number. I think it's actually a black base is kind of a faded black so it looks almost navy but it's really cute and it's just a mini dress so it's different to all of the other dresses that I have here I'm not much of a dress person I do tend to be a lot more jeans and t-shirts and jumpers kind of person um but I do quite like a nice summer dress especially in summer I feel like my feminine style can come out a little bit more I brought back out two jumpsuits as well from last summer this first kind of burnt orange um, v-neck sleeveless wide leg jumpsuit I made myself last year before I went on holidays and it was just the perfect summer piece. Um, it's really creased because I was wearing it yesterday but it's just really lightweight um, but it kind of keeps you covered up as well when you don't want to um, have your skin out too much in the sun. Um, and the second one is a people tree jumpsuit that I got last summer. Again wore it a ton. I just I love the shape of this so much. I love the little cap sleeve. I love that it's a tie waist, so you can really cinch it in, or you can just wear it a little bit looser. Um, the leg is a little bit more cropped than I would typically like for a tapered leg because 
I don't mind the length in a wide leg, but in a tapered leg, it's just when I sit down, it kind of comes up a bit tight on my calf. But all in all, I really, really love this jumpsuit and it has pockets as well. They both do. So they're just, they're just such handy to throw on and go pieces. And they're both made from 100% cotton. So they're both so lightweight. Another addition that I didn't have in my spring capsule is this little mini um, kind of satin bias cut mini skirt. Um, I made this one as well, it was really simple, I'll pop the tutorial for it in the description box if you're interested, but yeah, super simple, super easy to wear, it is quite short actually, it's shorter than I intended it to be, but um, it's great for summer, and yeah, it's just so comfortable, it's just such a, an easy fabric to wear. pulled out my um, denim kind of tensile lyocell um, shirt again it's just a great throw over piece as well and I think I think the addition of the blue um, into this more orangey brown cream wardrobe is really nice um, and it just kind of freshens it up a little bit um, and I'm really just loving these few little blue accent pieces here I just think this color palette is just so nice so from about here back is my like occasion wear so I'll try and hide that but basically this much is my summer wardrobe. And then I just have a couple of my cashmere jumpers still out, my lighter colors, my beige one, and my pale blue, and my little pink mohair wrap cardigan. Again, it's just, sometimes when I'm inside, it's a lot cooler and I need to wear knitwear, um, and I'm inside a lot right now. Um, then also I have my denim shorts, which are kind of a staple in every summer wardrobe. I got those last year at a kilo sale, I think. Or a swap shop. I'm not. I can't remember 100%. Um, oh, another item I wouldn't have had in my spring capsule are these leopard print jeans, and I'm just obsessed. Love these so much. I've probably worn them about ten times already, and I have them maybe a month. Um, so absolute winner there. I got them on Depop. They're originally the, um from Zara. They are. They seem like a pretty popular pair. I found so many like styling pictures on on Pinterest of these, of the Zara pair. Um, they have a really nice button fly, really nice straight leg fit, which I'm very into right now. Um, so yeah, when it's cool enough to wear a pair of jeans, I'll be wearing these just like plain white tee, plain black tee, um, a little like tank top, something like that. I have a couple of little um, tank tops, like I mentioned, that I pulled out of storage. So this little brown one which is just really handy to have little um, tank tops like this they just make getting dressed so easy because it basically will go with every bottom in my wardrobe um, I have a little black one as well so that other one was from Depop second hand this one was from People Tree this black one really really nice um, it's nice to just have an option for a black one and a brown one because whatever bottoms I have one or the other if not both will go with them my footwear tends to stay the same. I don't buy shoes too often, but I did want to add in one pair of shoes. I've been wanting them for the longest time. So I thought summer is the perfect time. And I got this pair of Converse. They're this really nice kind of um, beigey cream color, which I think will complement my um, more creamy brown, like warm toned wardrobe a lot better than just a plain white pair. And I think they will last a bit longer they'll look cleaner for longer as well because it's a slightly darker color but i'm so chuffed with them um and i just think they will go with pretty much everything in my wardrobe so i might actually do a little styling video soon with my converse although i'd say anyone who has converse knows that they go with absolutely everything but i think it'd be more just fun for me to try on pretty much every outfit in my wardrobe and put these on with it i think in my head i had um I had been thinking that the little brown skirt would look really good at the Converse. I just think um, for summer it's nice. It's kind of like almost like a boot for me because the shape on my ankle, um, but it's a runner. So really, really happy with those. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little summer wardrobe tour and I hope it inspired you to get your own wardrobe ready for summer. Um, it's always a really exciting time of year because I think it's kind of reminiscent of holidays and lying out in the sun and when you do find your favourite pieces um, that you will have worn last year and the year before, it just brings back those memories so it's really nice.
If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out knowing what kind of videos you like to see. If you aren't subscribed already, please do so um, for my benefit, maybe your own benefit, and um, because these are the kind of videos that I like to make on a weekly basis. And I'll see you guys really soon.